Check it out, Nikki. Check it out now. Well, I told y'all this shit was coming. Now, I remember I told y'all that Nikki needs a narrative for this next album. Now, she's no longer the underdog. However, man, the thing that never gets old with women is being a victim, okay? My boyfriend left me, he cheated on me, he used to be verbal abusive, I held him down like a real bitch, and he left me, and by the way, he used to treat me bad, I used to sit there like a battered woman, and now I'm free, I'm liberated, I'm still hurt, but I'm getting over it, let's go on to live my best life, okay? That always work, okay? Keisha Cole, Mary J. Blige, they've made careers off making albums about their hurt and becoming new women, Okay? Now, uh, I'm not saying she's about to make a bunch of I'm not going to cry no more. However, the writing been on the wall, man. You could tell that Nikki and Meek, at least when it comes to Meek's case, they're not seeing eye to eye. By the way, Nikki just did an interview. She said all type of shit, including saying, I told Meek not to be for Drake. But let's talk about this case, okay? Meek recently said, and this was published, I believe, in Rolling Stones. He said, yo, Nikki... While he was in court getting his fate decided by a judge, Nikki was in there giggling and he had to basically like tap her like, yo, don't be laughing like that. My fate is on the line. Okay. Basically saying Nikki was trivializing the whole court process. Now Nikki's coming out in her interview to basically say, and by the way, this is very important because if you don't know exactly why Meek is saying the judge is corrupt, the biggest reason is that he said in a closed chambers meeting with him, Nikki Minaj, and the judge, the judge asked him to record a song on Bend the Knee by Boys to Men, give her a shout out, and also switch management. Now, Nicki Minaj, who said she would be addressing stuff about Meek and all that type of thing, with a documentary and on her album, she did have this to say about the judge. She says, the judge in question did everything asked of her. So I can't badmouth her because I met her personally. I know what she said to us. He knows that and I know that. But I wouldn't wish jail on anybody. Clearly, she ain't going to bat for Meek, okay? Now, she didn't jump out the window and say, yo, Meek lying. But clearly, she's saying, you know what? I ain't going to say nothing bad about this judge. And I won't step up to say that Meek is correct. So I think this is actually a big indictment on Meek's case to say the judge is biased because a long time ago when people were saying the judge is biased, I've been waiting for them to call Nikki. If Nikki was a witness to these things being heard or said actually by the judge, why ain't Nikki getting summons to court that she could testify, oh yeah, I was with Meek at that time. Yeah, that judge actually said that fuck shit. And yes, that judge actually was trying to put Meek away. Now, we could say uh, Nikki's a scorned woman now. Maybe she just don't give a fuck about Meek, so she'll even lie when something did go on. But it's very telling that she vocally said, I cannot speak bad about that judge because she did everything that was asked of her. Okay? I think that's really telling. And that also tells us the state of her and Meek's relationship or friendship, whatever you might call it, after the breakup. There is none, okay? There is none. Basically, she said, deuces, nigga. I don't want to see you in jail, but I don't give a fuck if you get free, okay? That's basically what she said. So we'll see how this turns out. We'll see how Meek and his people respond to it. And we'll see what this album has to then give us more about the relationship, which we did not know the inner details. Keep in mind, when she broke up Safari, she had a lot of information to tell us, like, Safari was some real monster, and she was now free. So we will see what it is, and I'll keep you guys updated. Get in the comment box, if you guys like them, subscribe. Not a good thing for Meek, but Nikki, she's out here telling her truth.